What happened to AOA? Hello everyone, I'm Internet Nathan and welcome to my What Happened series. Today, as you can see, we're talking about AOA. But before we do, if you enjoy my What Happened series or any videos on my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a thing. This video was suggested by Jung Eun Bi. If you want to suggest the next group I should talk about in the What Happened series, leave it down in the comments down below. I may choose it. So now back to AOA. A girl group that kind of came from a medium-sized company and really made a name for themselves in K-pop and, for real, the sexiest girl group to ever grace K-pop. Definitely having hits and hitting high points, but also nowadays, hitting some low points. And like I always like to do, before looking forward, I always like to look back. In 2012, FNC Entertainment, a K-pop company not a part of the big three but was a pretty medium-sized company, announced a new girl group. That girl group was AOA, also known as Ace of Angels. There was a huge like backstory of like the reason they're Ace of Angels and a whole like kind of theory and stuff, so I'll, I'll leave that to, to someone that's smart. An interesting fact some people maybe don't know about AOA is that they were not actually a k-pop girl group they originally started as a band and a group kind of like subunits a unit called a way black which was the band version they would have drums a bass guitar stuff like that and then they would have their girl group side and they would alternate between songs and comebacks and it was really interesting for the time i don't think you've ever seen a k-pop group go back and forth between band instruments and a k-pop group the only one i can think of is wonder girls so aoa debuted with elvis which was actually aoa's fandom name elvis but like most debuts it wasn't that successful it peaked at number eight on the guy on chart and went practically unnoticed. Trying to stay in the public's eye and coming back from a lukewarm debut, AOA came back with Wannabe. We would then see AOA's band unit, AOA Black, for the first time with the band version of Get Out. And now that I think about it, FSC was kind of smart showcasing the many talents within AOA. AOA Black would then be back again with Moya doing decent on the charts since slowly AOA was building up an audience. But compared to the slow start, we're about to see something huge. The next release would finally make everyone know who AOA was. <laughs> Miniskirt was really the first time K-pop has seen a sexy concept. And I mean, sexy. A seductive choreography that matched the tempo of the music, and of course, produced by the legendary Bray Brothers. Miniskirt earned AOA their first win on Inkigayo in 2014. Upon the success of Miniskirt, AOA capitalized on it by coming back with Short Hair, their first mini album. The mini album hit number one, almost achieving a triple crown. And Billboard named the short hair music video one of the most viewed K pop videos around the world. Next, AOA worked their magic again with Like a Cat. Maybe their most well known AOA release, due to this sexiness, of course, but also the unique music video and the unforgettable cat choreography. <laughs> Like a Cat snatched wigs and also AOA's second win on Show Champion. Around this time, with all the hype building up, I would think that this is when So Hyun would be getting hugely popular. And getting all these commercial and brand deals, and really her face became the face of AOA. And getting all these commercial and brand deals that idols still mimic till this day. You know the one where they turn around and like do that finger point and smile? And maybe it was a huge factor in AOA's success. 2015, AOA made efforts in Japan by releasing a Japanese version of Like a Cat, ranking high in all Japanese music and music video charts. In the same year, AOA made their first ever trip to the US by performing at KCON New York and LA in 2015. 2016 is the year FNC would be looking to change up AOA a bit, or should I say, a lot. They announced that AOA Black would be making a comeback, 
but we never really saw that. And AOA would be forming a subunit with Chanmi, Hyejung, and Yuna. They would be called AOA Cream and debut with the song I'm Jelly Baby, which is a guilty pleasure of mine, I cannot deny. Jimin would then debut officially solo with the collaboration with EXO's Jimin, Call You Bae. And that wasn't it for the changes as on October 15, 2016, Yu Kyung, AOA Black's drummer, left FNC Entertainment as her contract expired, but promised if AOA Black would come back, that she would return as well. 2017, AOA returned with Angel's Knock, a full album with a double title track, Excuse Me and Bing Bing. Still putting out amazing music in my opinion that people have been sleeping on, man. If I had a mattress sponsor in this video, I would say sleep on that instead of sleeping on AOA. Come on, guys. Wake up. Wake up, sheeple. Sadly, this would be Choa's last comeback with AOA as she announced her departure from the group and FNC Entertainment. In a letter written to Elvis and the fans, she mentioned to treat my insomnia and depression i tried taking medication and started decreasing my work two years ago however because the problem didn't stem from being tired i ended up stopping all my activities choa mentioned that she had her battle with depression and anxiety in order to not slow the group down that she would leave which could be the reason or maybe there's an underlying reason that she doesn't want to mention but choa did leave aoa this is an understatement when i say that this was a huge loss for aoa as choa was one of the most popular members in the group but more importantly a lead vocalist in my opinion one of the top k-pop vocalists and i i i, I still miss her to this day aoa persevered as they returned in 2018 now as six with bingo bangle it was received well but with no wins and no notable results AOA's future was in danger. And now, just a month ago, AOA faced another loss. Mino would leave AOA and FNC Entertainment at the end of her contract. All the other members' contracts were expiring as well, but they resigned. Mino was the only one that didn't. Historically, AOA was a huge part in making FNC big at the time, but FNC has a lot of hands on other things, especially in models and actors and actresses. AOA was iconic at the time, but nowadays I don't think they are anymore. And now, the new girl group out of FNC Entertainment, Cherry Bullet, just debuted and most recently had their first comeback, possibly filling AOA's spot. So what will happen to AOA? Right now, they're kind of on hiatus. I think when it comes to an older group like this, they can have longer hiatuses and come back, you know, further apart because people know they're an established name and they can come back when they want to. But with losing members and Mina recently, now they're down to five. But seeing the other members resign with FNC proves that AOA still has a couple comebacks in the future. Whether they hit big again with another bop, We'll find out. At the end of the day, AOA is still a huge name that pulls a lot of eyes. And I just hope that they find their way, find their rhythm again, and people don't sleep on them. Because AOA has really good music, even with Choa leaving, even with Mina leaving. There is still talent and a lot more to offer in this group. I look like a baby when I shave. AOA. AOA is one of my personal favorite girl groups back in the day and still to this day. Don't sleep, man. Don't sleep on them. I suggest you go back, listen to all their stuff. They have one of the most hidden gems in K-pop if people actually paid attention. AOA is phenomenal. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think is going to happen to AOA down in the comments. Will they continue on as five or will they go off and do their solo things or who's going to go where or do what? I'd like to know your predictions and anything you want to comment down in the comments below. Also, you can suggest the next group I'll talk about here on the What Happened series by leaving a comment down below. I may choose it. Also, if you're new and love what you see, please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a thing. We're on the road to 100k. We can do it. We can do it. And if you really enjoyed it, please give it a like. Click one of these videos down below. It'll help this video's performance. And just you'll just be a nice person by doing it. And remember, a new What Happened video every single Friday. So I'll see you here next Friday for a brand new one. Thank you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps out on the YouTube algorithm. And big thanks to my patrons making these videos possible. You want to get your name up there and you want to help support me and make these videos possible. 
please head over to Patreon and consider supporting. I'd be very, very grateful. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys next time. Annyeong.